I've seen aliens drop from the sky. Yeah. But I have never seen anything like this. How much more are you hiding? How loud? Let's go. go, go. Hey guys, what's up? The Here is here and today's video is all inspired by my recent trip to the movies to watch The Black Panther. And trust me, this movie is really thought-provoking. It got me thinking on a lot of different topics, but today's topic is the one that I want to uncover the most. Authenticity. What do you think authenticity means to you? In my case, authenticity is the word that kept kind of like glaring at me through the screen in the theater as I was watching Black Panther because there's so many different levels that this movie is authentic about starting from its cast and the amazing uh, crew behind the movie onto the setting and very authentic representation of the geography and very authentic representation of its culture and the colors and all of those things and the authentic piece of story that weaves together the fantasy and the reality that we're facing. As I was looking at those pieces together, one of the things that I realized is that this will be the reason why this movie is so successful. We do not fully realize that, but people are really hungry for authentic things. And the Black Panther, they have the scoreboard, their box office results that proves authentic stories matter and authenticity is really important. Now think back to the world and the reality that we're living in and you realize authenticity is not something people welcome at least at the face value and on paper. Think about the society in general. We all need to fit in this particular section, live our life in a particular way, have the kids in a particular way, pursue careers and do things in our life that are all confined to a very particular set of norms. Now look at the products, look at the buildings, look at the architecture. And you keep seeing these examples of different ways we try to create some sort of like confined spaces around different things and we almost like kill the authenticity we kill the uniqueness of certain things and certain views the reason why it resonated with me so well during the movie is because this is something i always struggled with as i was growing up as i was going through school high school as i was going through the college that feeling of authenticity was something that I was striving for. I was comfortable being different and I wanted all the people around me to try to be different because that's the beauty of the life. We as each and every single person, we're different in our very own unique ways. So why not to celebrate it? Why are we trying to just close in and make everyone look the same, just put some sort of mold on top of everyone else and just press it down to make them shape the same way? No, let people behave and live their life in unique ways. Now to bring it back to Wakanda, and if you look at this country in general, just the picture, the horizon of the country, the horizon of the capital city, you see this unique architecture, this mix of African architecture with a little bit of modern feel to it, but at the same time, it just represents something different. It represents something new that my eyes were like, whoa, I like what I'm seeing. I want to visit that. Can I apply for visa? Where do I need to go? Where's Wakanda's tourism board? I want to go there. And it's amazing how now I look back at the Twitter, I look at Facebook and I see so many people having exactly the same reaction. Everyone shares the same thought of how unique and magnificent this place is. So in our brains, we are open to different things, to unique things, to authentic things. And this is the main message that I'm trying to deliver with this video. I want to inspire you guys to first at the very beginning and at the very least accept each and one of us as a different person and we should be accepting each other's uniqueness and we should be accepting each other's authenticity once we do that the whole world will open up to us that's the reason why i'm not confining myself and trying to say that here you will only be making videos about x y and z i'm making videos about what i like and these are the things that i like and one day i'm talking about the travel then i talk about the food then i talk about the skills then i talk about the small business then i'm back to talking about the black panther these are the things that i enjoy these are the things that i love and this is me my channel will be always a representation of me in all the different aspects of my character and different things that I like. And I truly think that people out there should be the same way. We can all be authentic, 
but if we share a common interest, that's a thing that unites us. But then one of us can go move to the other side and find another people who share now something different that they like, and they all together united at the same time. And we create this almost neural network of different interests, passions, skills, breaking that tribalism, whether it's entertainment, whether it's in a personal behavior and something else and creating these cells of different interests that are still interconnected through one of us is an amazing experience. It takes being brave and being comfortable with being authentic. Look at Black Panther, look at Ryan Coogler and his entire crew believing that we will make this as authentic movie. We will make it something different. And I think that proves my point that people are receptive of someone being authentic or of something being authentic and different. <laughs> now, now I know. Now I know it might sound a little bit of a rumble and I'll hate myself during the editing for trying to create a coherent message throughout this entire video, but to give it like a silver lining, right? Again, give it from the Black Panther that inspired this video through some of the things that I've discussed in the psychology and sociology and to my channel, you need to be brave about being different. It's always very easy to fall back into this particular group mentality where you just become a part of. Be comfortable being on your own. Be comfortable standing in front of everyone and saying, this is who I am. I hope this video will help you, whether you're trying to create your personal brand and you're working on some sort of hobby, whether you're creating a business and you're trying to create a unique identity for your business, or whether you're pursuing some corporate job and you're trying to create an image of a professional around yourself that will help you throughout your career. All of those facets of life will benefit from your authentic self. I find something special about people who are comfortable with who they are. And I want you guys to be like that. I want every single one of you who are watching this video to become comfortable with who you are and own that personality that you carry. Because believe me, it's gonna pay off in the long term and in the short term and in the mid term. It's just gonna be, it's just gonna be great. But just trust me, that's good. It's not gonna be easy, but it's gonna be great. Go out there, be comfortable with who you are, be comfortable with your skin and show people why authenticity matters. Okay, that's all I have for you for today. As always, 10 a.m. next Saturday on this channel, every day on the social media channels. It's Tahir T on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Go to any type of social media that you like, put in Tohir T in the search box. Most likely you will find my profile there or at least some sort of content. Thank you very much. Enjoy the movie. Enjoy the thinking process about authenticity and I'll see you next week. Peace.